Hey guys, it's Bianca. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to answer the most common question that we get. Is camouflage tattoo safe? Hey guys, it's Bianca here. I'm a paramedical tattoo expert. So for those of you who doesn't know me yet, now you know. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so that you will be notified every time I post something new. And of course, if you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment below, because that way I will be modified, modified, mo mo motivated to give you more content like this. So in this video, we are going to talk about how safe is a camouflage tattoo? Now, I know that there's a lot of you guys who have been, you know, curious about this. It's a very relatively new technique. But for those of you who are not aware what a camouflage tattoo is and what I'm talking about, basically, it's a tattoo treatment that uses a special kind of pigment that matches the skin tone of the person in order to cover up or to permanently conceal scars and stretch marks and i've been performing this treatment for quite a while now and i would say that it is really effective so it is now my mission to help this message come across all over the world so i hope that you can help me by sharing this video as well <laughs> so now the question is how safe is this treatment personally i would say that it's relative i believe that there is no beauty treatment that is 100 percent safe i mean come to think about it even if you're just having a manicure pedicure there is a risk that you might have infection if the procedure is not done properly. Or even if you're just having a haircut, there is a risk that your stylist might not be able to get the exact haircut that you want. So there's always somehow risk in everything, especially in beauty treatments. The question now here that I think we should be asking is, how risky it is. So just like in any beauty treatment, if it's done properly, you can really, really minimize the risk. A camouflage tattoo is also a tattoo treatment. And come to think about it, we've been performing tattoos since 3100 BC and so many people have been living with the two all their lives and they're still alive right so it is relatively very safe but of course there are also some risks that we have to take in consideration so what are these risks and how can we avoid them number one the risk of getting an infection this does not only apply with camouflage tattoo this applies in tattoo in general because when you perform a tattoo on a skin you have an open wound so you as a client or someone who will undergo a camouflage treatment or any tattoo per se if you will not follow your aftercare regimen then you might contract an infection so it is very important that you follow the right aftercare procedure later on in my coming videos I will explain what are the aftercare procedures that you as a client should be following you really take care of your tattoo especially during the first seven days after you've had your camouflage tattoo treatment done, then there will be very, very minimal risk of infection. I always tell my client this, what happens in my clinic depends on me, but what happens after they get out of my clinic will depend absolutely on them and how they will follow the aftercare procedure that I will give them. So always make sure that you follow that aftercare, always cleanse it, always be hygienic, especially in that area because that is an open wound. And if you don't take care of that, obviously you can contract viruses and bacteria and germs and it can lead to infection and then you're gonna lose your arms or your legs <laughs> just kidding another risk that you also have to keep in mind is having an allergic reaction because come to think about it you are putting a pigment and a pigment is not a natural thing to be inside our body so you're putting something synthetic inside your skin which can lead to an allergic reaction however this does not only apply to camouflage too it also applies in any semi-permanent makeup or tattoo procedure. So if you're the kind of person who develops allergies fast, this is something that you also have to keep in mind. And this is something that's beyond the control of the artist because you know your body more than we do. So it's really your responsibility to know if you are, if you have any allergies on certain products and certain chemicals. If you feel like you really want to undergo the procedure, but you're afraid that you might develop an allergic reaction, do a patch test First. A patch test is when we try to just put a little amount of pigment inside the skin just to check how the skin would react. And if after 48 hours there's no allergic reaction, then we can proceed with the 
treatment. Another risk that I think is important for you to know is the risk of having or contracting blood-borne diseases. A blood-borne pathogen is basically a microorganism such as viruses or bacteria that goes into your bloodstream that leads to diseases. The most common ones would be hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. This is honestly something that I think is the most important responsibility of every tattoo artist, whether you're a camouflage artist, a real tattoo artist or a microblading artist, this is something that's very, very important to protect our client's safety and health. This is something, as a client, you should always be looking for. You should always look and see, number one, the clinic. You know, the clinic has to be really clean and sanitized. And most especially, the tools has to be always sterilized, okay? If it can be reused. In terms of a needle, the needle should never be reused. It always has to be brand new. Now, in my clinic, what I do is that every time before I start the procedure, I always show my client the needle that I'm about to use to that person. And I show that it's still in a pack, it's still sealed, and I open it in front of her. So if you are a camouflage artist or any semi-permanent makeup artist, this is also something that I recommend you do because it will give your client that extra confidence on you. And if you are a client, make sure to check those things because those are really vital for your health. Because imagine having a very good outcome but getting sick in the long run. That is going to be very, very bad. So always make sure that you check your artist first if that artist is hygienic. Never reuse, please, 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 never, ever, ever reuse your needles. And this is where trying to really search for the right artist comes in. It is very important that you really study your artist, not only in how good they are or how skilled they are in performing the treatment and having a very beautiful outcome, but most especially how clean they are and how hygienic they are. That is very important, guys. Take care of your health. It's more important than anything else. Another risk would be having an ugly result. As easy as it may seem, it's actually not an easy thing to do. Now, I know that a lot of people might be thinking, oh, this is actually just an easy thing because it's just a tattoo. So if you are a tattoo artist or a semi-permanent makeup artist, then you can easily just do it and just use any kind of skin tone pigment. Well, I hate to pop your bubble, but it's really not that simple. In a camouflage too, you are working on the exact skin tone of the client. And every person has a different undertone. So as an artist, it's important that we are well knowledgeable about the color theory before performing this kind of procedure. And also because we're working in a skin tone pigment, there is no one color fits all. Your artists need to be very well knowledgeable in finding the right color mixture for your skin tone. And this leads me to the next risk is if your artist makes a mistake, it will be very difficult to correct it if your artist does not know how to properly do it. Because it's not like when you, let's say, have a tattoo, let's call it black or red or green, that you can just go for a laser treatment that can erase that tattoo. A skin tone pigment cannot be erased with anything, okay? The only way it can be erased or can be improved is to performing another tattoo procedure. The reason being is because it is color white and white pigments cannot be erased by a laser procedure. If you have a white tattoo, whether it's a camouflage treatment or any white pigment, if you undergo a laser treatment, that color or that tattoo will turn gray and it will not look good. So just make sure that your artist is really well knowledgeable in performing the treatment and if he or she makes a mistake, she knows how to correct it. And also, aside from your artist having to know the right pigment to use for you or the right color, it is also important that he or she knows to perform the right procedure. In a camouflage treatment, we are working on a scar tissue. So with that being said, your artist needs to be very, very careful in performing the procedure because since we're working on a scar tissue, if we overdo the procedure, it might lead to more damage than good to your skin. So your artist needs to know 
exactly what he or she is doing so that you will not experience more trauma on your skin. The next risk would be complications when undergoing an MRI. Now, this is actually a very controversial topic because there are some studies that say you can really have a complication when you undergo an MRI if you have a tattoo, but there are some studies and some people are saying that it is not true. But first, what is an MRI? MRI is Magnetic Resonance Imaging. MRI is that large magnet wherein you go inside and it has radio waves. It's usually done when your healthcare professional wants to know if you have any tumor. So is it safe to undergo an MRI if you have a tattoo? And again, this does not only apply for camouflage treatment, it applies to any tattoo procedure. Some people say that it can have um, complications but a lot of people are saying that there's really not enough studies to show that it can actually lead to any complications when undergoing an MRI but the only thing that I can see that might cause complications when you're undergoing an MRI procedure if you have a tattoo is because of the ingredient in the pigment most pigments is highly magnetized meaning if you put a magnet there that magnet will take or consume those pigments. However, there are very few people who have experienced complications and most of the time, it happens when you have a very large tattoo in your body. So I would suggest that if you're about to undergo an MRI, inform your medical practitioner that you have undergone a tattoo procedure so that they're also aware and they will be able to guide you throughout the process. So that's about it guys. I hope that you find this video useful. And of course, like I said in the beginning of this video, there's always risk in any beauty treatment. No matter how small or simple it may be, there will always be risk. But those risks can be avoided and can be minimized if you go to the right artist and if you take your own precaution as a client before undergoing this kind of treatment. So always make sure that you do your own research, study your artist first and really go to the artist who know what he or she is doing, who is well knowledgeable, like me. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. So, I hope that you guys like this video. If you want to see more of this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the bell right next to it, send me your comments or write your comments in, in there, down there. And also, you can check all our social media accounts in the description box below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome.